close your eyes and watch your breath. When it comes in, know it's coming in. Know it when it's going out. It's only when you know it that you can do something about it. In other words, is the breath comfortable? If it's not comfortable, you can change it. If it's too long, you make it shorter. If it's too short, make it longer. Check to see if it's too deep or too shallow, too heavy, too light. Try to bring it into a right balance, and then try to maintain that. This is one way of showing goodwill for yourself. Because the way you breathe has a huge effect on the body, and because it has an effect on the body, it's going to have an effect on the mind. And yet we often leave it to its own devices, as if it can take care of itself. And it does. It breathes in and breathes out, but it, we don't get the most use out of it. And we let the breath get uncomfortable and just leave it that way. It's like letting our body get dirty and then just leaving it dirty. Some people say, well, the breath can take care of itself. Why do I have to interfere with nature? Well, if you didn't interfere with nature, you wouldn't have a clean body. You wouldn't be presentable at all. We have to keep cleaning the body. We have to keep looking after it all the time. And it's the same with the breath. If you look after the breath, it's going to give you a lot more use than if it's just let it go on its own. Because if you carry around good energy inside, then the mind feels less irritated. And when you're feeling, feeling less irritated, okay, you're more likely to not only do the right thing, but also do the kind thing for other people. If you're not weighing yourself down with your own pains and suffering, you have more room to look at, see what other people are suffering from right now, and time to take into consideration their feelings, their, their situation. Maybe there's something you can do to help. And this is called goodwill as a perfection. It's one of the qualities that the Buddha developed and that we should develop as we're practicing in line with his teachings. Because goodwill is the basis for all the teachings. The Buddha had goodwill for himself, which is why he wanted to find an end to suffering. He had goodwill for other people, other beings. But that's why he taught them. That's why we have a Buddhism to begin with. That's why we have a way of training the mind. It's out of goodwill, both for ourselves and for others, because we want a happiness that's harmless. Because we realize the only happiness that's going to last is one that's harmless. If our happiness harms other people, they're not going to stand for it. They're going to fight back. And if they don't fight back, the people who love them are going to fight back, and the world will be a miserable place. And the misery we see in the world comes from a lack of genuine goodwill for yourself, knowing where your true happiness lies, and making sure that your pursuit of happiness is for the happi a happiness that's harmless. And when you found that kind of happiness, then you have more to offer other people as well. So it's important to realize that happiness is not a zero-sum game. If you find true happiness inside, you can actually help spread it around, show other people through your example this is how it's done. Give them advice whenever it's necessary. And if the things that you can do to help them in, in that direction, well, you're happy to help, because you're not weighed down with your own suffering. So remember, this is a kind of happiness that doesn't have any boundaries, the happiness that comes from gain and status. Some people gain, other people have to lose. I mean, there's no gaining without losing in that kind of happiness. And that kind of happiness is a zero-sum game. Sometimes it's even less than zero, because the people who gain, they end up doing all sorts of unskillful things. The people who lose do unskillful things. If you find true happiness inside, you're not going to be doing anything unskillful. And you actually have more to give to other people. So that's a big plus. So remember that goodwill is a very important part of the practice. It starts with showing some goodwill for yourself and just something simple like this and how you look after your breath. Make sure it's easeful, make sure that it's comfortable, and that you carry this good energy with you wherever you go. And then from there, the goodwill spreads out to other people as well. So always keep this principle in mind. It's one of the basic teachings in, the, in training the mind and looking for a happiness that really is reliable, because it causes nobody any harm.